Bismillahir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about switches and flutter. So let's start. I have created this project in which I have this uh, man method and in this uh, man method we have this run app and uh, my app class is uh, called here but uh, this my app class is not present so we will create this quickly so my app but first we have to write the class keyword my app extends um, stateful widget and now I'll put curly braces and now I'll click on this and click on this bulb icon and create missing overrides and it will create this, uh, this uh, create state method now I'll create another class as well. Class um, switch state extends uh, state and uh, now I'll put curly braces and now I'll click on this and now I'll create missing overrides. And now from here I'll remove these two lines of code and now I'll call return as you can see that the return type of this uh, create uh, state uh, method is uh, state so we will return this switch state class which extend a state so switch state and I'll put semicolon now this is uh, done so now I'll come here down here we will create the body of the app and the app bar so return uh, material app why I'm returning this material app because the return type of this uh, uh, build method is widget so material app is a widget which I am returning so now inside this material app we have a title so for title we use a switch and then we have a, a home property so in home I will return scape fold it is also a widget and in scape fold I can create a bar so I will create a bar a bar and now I will uh, 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 in a bar we have property so first is uh, title so for title I will use text widget and in text widget I will use switch demo and uh, now down here I can center this title center title true and uh, now outside this uh, uh, a bar here and inside the scaffold there is a property called body and in a body I can create the body of the app so here I'll use a widget called container and now inside this container we have a child so in this child I will use a column widget and in column now we have a property called children and in children I can make multiple widgets so uh, now here we will create a switch so switch and now we have some properties here so this value for this value will come to this top of this class and here I will uh, um, create a ball variable so is on equals false and now I'll put semicolon and now the value of this switch will be is on okay and now in on change I can put these parentheses and then curly braces and then I will put this and uh, now here I can pass in the value uh, here can I, I I will use the value so when the value changes this value will also change underscore is on so now we will use here 
set state and uh, now is on will equals underscore is on and I'll put semicolon now the next thing I will do is go here and put a comma here and uh, I'll put a text here and I'll put here the value is dollar is on and now I'll put semicolon here so this semicolon is showing error we do not need it here now if we run this application now the app is running on my device so let's go and check it now you can see that switch is here and this is the and this is the text now if I turn and turn now you can see the value is true and now if I turn and top now the value is uh, false so let me uh, take this to center of this uh, app so I'll come here and here in this uh, insert man that center and now if I run this now the app is running again so if I go to the app the device now it is vertically center but it is not into this uh, container I will use child and here here I will use uh, center and I'll use this and this and now I'll go down and uh, here I'll use this and I'll put a comma and now if I run this now the app is running and now if I go to device now you can see it is uh, in the center now let me create a few other uh, switches so for that I will go to code and now I'll go to top and from here I will copy this uh, switch and uh, I'll copy this text as well I'll call control C this and now I'll control V it here and then comma and then another time and uh, now I'll put a comma here so there is stop showing here yeah. now I'll go to top and here I will create two other boolean values switch on equals uh, false and semicolon and uh, uh, sw1 equal uh, false semicolon and now I can change these values here now one for this uh, switch on and here I'll use dollar on and now if I run this application now the app is running so if I go to device now we have two three switches and now they can be on and off now let me uh, uh, change the active color of these switches so for this switch I'll use uh, active color colors dot dot red and uh, for this switch for this one I'll use active color
colors dot uh, green and now I am going to change this value so this will become a value one and this will also become value one and uh, here the value is uh, uh, switch on and here the value will become is w1 so now all the switches uh, will not uh, turn on with the the first one now the application is running on the device so let me go to the device now if i switch on the first one now you can see the color is the active color is blue now if i switch on the second one now the active color is green and now if i switch on the third one the value will change and the color will be red so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you